In this video we will look at the trim edit mode, dynamic trim mode and the uh, edit blade mode. Now the first uh, icon you will see is the selection mode. Now what selection mode do is I can uh, select any of the clip, I can uh, move my clip to other track, I can move it at the end of the video or I can move it wherever I want. Now some other feature of selection mode is now if I move my cursor at the end of any clip I can decrease its duration from this side. You can see now if I leave you can see it leave an empty space here and delete it uh, all other uh, clip uh, portion. Okay I can also decrease it from this side. I will move it here again. Now if I move my cursor at the center of two clips like this you can see its icon again change. Now what that means is now I can uh, append uh, one uh, one end of the clip and uh, decrease the uh, an other end and vice versa. I, if I move in this side you can see the second clip decreases and the first clip increases and now if I move in this side the first clip uh, uh, decreases and the second clip increases and vice versa. I can do stuff like that. I can also select all of these um, clips and do the same. You can see. Now what? Uh, if I select the uh, trim edit mode you can see its uh, cursor again change you can see now if I select this clip from this end and I decrease it you can see the clip decrease but one thing you will notice is that that other two clips also move with this clip it is like these both uh, clips glued with this clip you can see it will not leave any empty space here and if I do uh, put my cursor at the middle of the two uh, clips you can see it will work similar to the previous one now that's the uh, good feature of trim edit mode now one thing you will notice is uh, uh, if I put my cursor at the center of uh, any clip at the upper uh, uh, center of any clip you can see its cursor again change now what it do is if I move my clips it will change the clip material but it will leave all the it will leave the duration and time similar to the uh, which I have set the uh, at the start of the clip you can see if I select this clip you can see I can change the material of the clip but the uh, duration and the time will remain similar now I want to start this clip when the aeroplane take off like this okay and and I want to end this clip when the water rise up here you can see now if I play this clip it look really cool you can see I can also edit this uh, clip uh, as well I will decrease its size a little bit now that's fine now if I move my cursor now one more thing you will notice is you will see four screen uh, at the uh, screen now the now this screen show the uh, first clip and the uh, this screen show the starting point of the uh, clip which I have selected and this screen show the ending point of the clip which I have selected and this screen is the last uh, clip okay I can move it in any direction like this and I can change its material in any order now what if I selected the dynamic edit mode now what I can do with dynamic edit mode, I can do similar stuff like I can increase and decrease certain clip, uh, I can uh, um, remove certain clip, uh, but uh, in dynamic edit mode we use JKL keys, J is to move it backward and L is to move it forward and K is to stop it. For example if I move it, uh, want to move it backward I will click on J and if I want to move it forward I will click on L, you can see and I will stop it here. And I can also use the arrow keys like this okay after that in dynamic edit mode you will see two options the first is slip and slide now slide is similar to the uh, 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 trim edit mode where I click here for example if I select the slide you can see and now if I play uh, click on L it will change the material but the clip will uh, remain at the same point and the duration will be similar and if I select this slide now if I click on L, you can see the clip move from one point to another point. 
After that, the last option is blade edit mode. Now, what blade edit mode do? It is similar to the slice tool. Uh, I can cut different uh, uh, different uh, clips. For example, if I want to cut this clip in half, uh, I can easily do that using blade tool. I will just uh, click here, and you can see it cut this clip in half. I can also uh, put my uh, cursor here, and now you can see the blade uh, attached to this uh, cursor. Okay. Now, if I click, it will cut the area where cursor is at. Okay.